Garlic. Everyone's favorite thing. You know, there are a thousand things you can do with it. You can slice it if you want it nice and thin and delicate. You can chop it. You can mince it. I think all these things are pretty obvious because really what you're doing is just cutting it down to size. But one thing that's really cool that I do want to show you is mashing it into a paste. And the reason why you want to mash it into a paste is because if you think it's a paste, it's almost liquid, right? So when you mix it into a dish, it'll mix through really evenly. And there's actually this really cool, weird chemical thing with garlic with the more you cut it, the more the aromas actually come out. So if you think a thin slice of garlic versus a very rough chop, there's actually more garlic aroma. And if you mash it all the way into a paste, that means you're breaking open all the cells and all the garlic aroma comes out. So for that, you just kind of start cutting it however you like. You come through with your knife. You hold your tip of your fingers on the tip of the knife. Just kind of rock your knife back and forth. Wipe the blade of your knife off every once in a while. Be careful not to slice your finger. And what I like to do when I'm chopping, you know, you start knocking things around. You know, just use your knife to bring it back together so it's nice and tight. So once you have your garlic nice and minced up like that, you know, come around with a little bit of salt. And basically the salt will get in there and help you keep mashing the garlic. Because what happens is you give it another chop, you use the side of your knife, and you basically start smushing it. So you see what I'm doing here? The action is more in your fingertips holding it down, and you're really just kind of rotating your wrist to keep getting the side of the knife to mash into the garlic. And the little salt granules will help break things up a little. You can basically do this as long as you want. It's very therapeutic. It's cheaper than therapy. And what happens is it, the garlic gets more and more liquid. It releases more of its juice. It releases more of its flavor. And eventually what it's going to turn into is really just a nice thick paste.